His name is Stephen Eugene Beck. He has 38 counts of rape. And the list of charges against him. And they're very serious allegations. Is long. Nine counts of rape of a child. Victimizing two underage female victims. And 10 counts of sexual exploitation of minors. Those 38 counts involve underage girls. Beck is related to in both Wilson and Rutherford counties. Authorities filed them last year, but Beck never showed up to court after paying his bonds totaling more than a million dollars. It's my belief he is still in Tennessee or in an adjacent state to Tennessee. Deputy Bob Harrison has followed up on leads as far away as Alaska. He says Beck planned his escape months in advance and even bought supplies. Many of us in the law enforcement community uh, believe that certain family members are still assisting him providing him financial aid or other aid to evade capture. Harrison says the DA is now considering charging those family members. And the heat on Beck won't end there. Authorities are providing unreleased pictures of him, and they're doubling the reward, along with reminding people he has this heart-shaped tattoo. And when you have an individual who has previously molested children, is that, of course, they're going to do it again. And keeping him away from other potential victims is our number one priority. So here's another look at the man authorities have been chasing for a year. A man they say may still be in Tennessee. The victims and the family deserve to be able to go to bed at night and not worry about him showing up on their doorstep.